here with Landon Thomas, Florida State tight end commitment. How are you doing today, Landon? Doing good. How's spring ball been? It's been good. Uh, just like our last full week, and we got our game Tuesday. So it's been going good. What are you trying to accomplish individually speaking during spring? Just getting better at everything, like my position, like better in my technique and blocking. Really just getting better at everything, really. You obviously switched your commitment here recently back to Florida State. What was it about the Seminoles that led you to making that decision? Um, it just felt like it was the place for me, really. Like, I just like, Florida State always been in my heart, so like, I just felt like that was the move for me, really. Best thing for me. You've dealt with Chris Thompson for what, about two, three years now? About three. What's that relationship like? What is he like as a recruiter and as a coach and just getting to know him? It's been good. Uh, he really like the same person, like, as he is on the phone and as he is in person. Like, but, like, He's never like we always been contact with in contact with Joe since he first offered me my freshman year. So it's been a good relationship. And with Coach Norvell, you've obviously had the same length yeah. of a relationship with him. How has that developed, and what stands out about him to you? Uh, our relationship grew stronger since January for me coming back up. Though, so I thought our relationship grew since my freshman year way more. Why did you kind of give them another chance? What was it that, as you were committed to Georgia, made you decide I am going to take another look at FSU and consider him once again? I don't know, it was just something that was telling me like I need to go look at him. And really my uh my dad too, like he wanted me to go check him out too because he think that was a good spot for me. So I went back and checked him out. Did like, their success I'm sorry, Damien. No, you go ahead. Did their success on the field, especially last season? Uh, a little bit, but not too much though. But I have been still we always think about Florida State. I know their program as far as coaching staff, they traditionally like using tight ends. That hadn't been a thing at first for them at FSU, but last year and then in the spring, what did you see from what they do at that position? Um, I see a lot of similar things that I do out here at my school. Like they use the blocking game a lot. Uh, they're gonna be in the pass game as well too, so yeah. Obviously other schools aren't gonna give up. Are you still hearing from quite a few? Yes, sir. Uh, who, who are Georgia's still hit me up. Uh, Auburn is, yeah, uh, Florida every now and then. Where do you kind of stand with things at this point? I don't know Florida State. Do you think you'll end up taking visits anywhere, anywhere else? I don't think so. Okay. When do you plan to get back to Florida State? I might go on this Saturday or but my OV on the 23rd through the 25th. So that's locked in? Yes, sir. Have you turned into a recruiter? Like, are you talking to other guys trying to get them jumping the boat? Um, I talked to Kylan Fox. Uh, what's the DP name? Charles Lester. Mm -hmm. yeah. I taught him a little bit too, and uh, James Madison a little bit. Fox is a tight end just like yeah. you. What is it that leads to you talking? It's just kind of unusual guys at the same position uh, talking about, hey, let's play together. Well, we've been playing against each other since we were like little and pop winner. And so then like me and him grew like a, a strong relationship over like football and recruiting. So like we basically were saying we want to play with each other. So I'm going to try to get him to come. Is that part of the reason you might go this week? I think he was supposed to be in yeah, town. Yeah, um, how often do you guys talk? And was we talk he... a lot. We talk a, a couple times a week. Yeah. You said you mentioned Charles Lester, the DB. Um, what start? What sparked up that conversation? I know that's one of FSU's top targets. That, that what it was. Like I see it was a top target, so I text him and stuff like that. What What did your conversations been like? Uh, I would ask him how you're feeling about him. He, he was saying good and stuff like that. So it was just a simple conversation. Mm -hmm. um, how, have they talked about how they want to use you in the offense? That's right there. Not necessarily, did, but like they told me that they use me all over. Like they give me the ball from any spot on the field. Really. Is there like a player like um, like Jaheen Bell for them this year? Is that kind of like, is there any sort of comparison, anything like that at all that they've done? Um, no, but I think that is like they can get Jaheen Bell in anything. They can play running back too, yeah, yeah. receiver and tight end. What are you going to be keep, keeping an eye on as far as their offensive, uh, you know, game plan this upcoming year with with the two new additions? I really want to see Jaheen and see what they're going to do with him. He's so versatile. So. And you know him, right? No, not really, but like he's from right off. Okay. Gotcha. You view yourself in kind of a similar shell. A little you bit. Do a lot yeah. of different things. Yes, sir. Um, do you plan to be in early enrollment? Yes, sir. 